go to the hospital right now with, okay. with the fucking STD, they're going to say you got COVID. <laughs> yes, yes, <laughs> but COVID is an STD. You didn't know that? Yeah, because the government's fucking us. <laughs> Might as well be. My name is Mimi. I'm TJ. We're from uh, South Carolina. Yep. And wh what brings you to Vegas? Um, Anniversary. Yeah. You guys? Yeah. yeah. How many years? Three. Three. Well, I mean, you could be here for somebody else's anniversary. There are a lot of excuses <laughs> to come to Vegas, right? Yeah. Three years. Congratulations. Thank you. And you're not... You're not Days and everything in the middle. So, yeah, yeah just celebrating everything together. See, just combining excuses <laughs> to go to Vegas. So how's your experience been so far? Um, it's pretty crazy. It's pretty fun. Um, Not your first time here? Mm -hmm. It is my first time oh, here. Oh, wow. All right. <laughs> so I wasn't expecting everything to be But like we feel like is. we fit in. Like yeah. we, we feel like we fit in. Everybody fits in on the strip in Vegas, right? Right, right. So we're good. Have you seen some of the freaks out here? I mean, they make people like us look normal. I mean, you can't ignore it. You, you cannot <laughs> miss it. So... Uh, that's that's a big part of Vegas, though. That yeah. part of Vegas, so. That's what we came to see. We don't see this back home, you know. We don't experience any of this back home, so this is exciting. Has there been a difference? You said South Carolina, right? Yes. Is has there been a difference with COVID policy you've experienced here with with masks or vaccines or anything like that? I mean, you're you're sort of you're color coordinated, so it's subtle. You. But you got you got yours. You got you got your chin diaper on. You know you're not. You could here. You could have. You could have. Look, I'll give. You, I haven't. I haven't worn this one. You to look. It matches your shirt, sir. No, it's, <laughs> um, I'm from South Carolina. We we don't really have any COVID protocols. Um, not even. Yeah. There's there's really no no. So everybody's dying. Yeah. Like, Every, everybody in South Carolina is dead because you ignored COVID protocols. Pretty much. Pretty much. <laughs> So, so when you come here and you see you have like masks kind of mandated, mostly mandated indoors establishments, does that strike you as weird if, if South Carolina like isn't hasn't been really doing that? No, no not, not really. At all. Because South Carolina is, is a lot different than, than everywhere, honestly. It's smaller. It's smaller and we don't have as many people as Vegas. So it's like we they have their own rules like that they follow in South Carolina. But here it's like everybody's trying to say stay safe. Keep everybody else safe. If you're not vaccinated, cool. If you are, cool. But just wearing a mask, is, it helps a lot. Well, if, 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 if it was really for safety and there was a real threat and y'all in South Carolina haven't really been doing shit and people aren't dying left and right in South Carolina, then it must mean that everything you just said about it being for safety is kind of bullshit, isn't it? For safety? Because it's not, it's not. If, if people in South Carolina aren't dying, they're and y'all are. are dying, they are. They are. Um, I said because they make their own rules. They came here Friday. They four people down. have four people yeah. that we know personally have died since Friday. Yeah. So, so like I said, it's just from from COVID. Four people you know have died of COVID since. Or we'll complicate. Did they have pre-existing conditions, or was there anything else involved? Were they like young, healthy people suddenly dropping dead with? The Delta variant? Not really young, healthy people. It's, it's mostly older people and people uh, with other issues. Um, so, how how much do you think they really died from COVID versus died from those other issues? I think COVID accelerated it. <laughs> from, from what I from what I look at it, hell, they writing COVID on everybody's death certificate. If you yeah. ask me. Uh, oh, you oh tell us tell us what yeah. tell tell us what you're really woke to, dear. <laughs> Come on, because you uh, That's see. How I feel that everyone's death certificate death certificate says COVID. I mean, no matter what you die from, they're going to... If you go to the hospital right now with, with fucking COVID. STD, they're going to say you got COVID. <laughs> yes, yes, <laughs> but COVID is an STD. You didn't know that? Jeez. Yeah, because the government's <laughs> fucking <will> us. <laughs> <laughs> Might as well be. All right, so government's fucking us. What does that tell you about what's going on here? Because you started this saying, well, of course it makes sense here. I ask a few questions and you're like, nah, just kidding. We know it's all bullshit. Pretty much, much, man. Pretty much. Pretty much. You um, basically make your own rules. If you want to wear a mask, you wear a mask. If you don't want to man wear a mask, you don't wear a mask. It's just simple as that. My, it's my not thing, enforced. My thing about the mask is I, I don't mind wearing a mask, but I feel like it takes away from your individualism. But if everybody's walking around with a mask covered up, how are you expressing yourself? You know well, what I mean? You, we, so you also see that a lot of people are profiting a lot of billionaires getting way richer during this pandemic right? right and they're generating this hysteria and even you guys were at least led to go along with it and even endorse the mythology of it to start what does that tell you um 
shit. Like <laughs> yeah, um, I don't know. It's, it's hard to explain. Um, I just know I can't trust this government at all. Um, that, that's pretty much all I can say. Well, I hope you uh, take that lesson, apply to the rest of your life. Thank you so much for your time. You guys enjoy yeah, Vegas. Yeah, Thank You're beautiful, you. both of you. Keep it up. We will meet that challenge with courage and love, and as always, we the people will prevail! Yeah.